Hello, welcome to the Plot Malaysia. This is our thirty-first episode. It's our third red card show. This is the show for the fans, by the fans. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Well, guys, welcome to another round of the red card show. But before we go any further on the show, I have a very, very important announcement to make because this is our product sponsor from Planet Health. I'm going to introduce you to the anti hair fall shampoo. Have a look, have a look. If you guys have hair trouble, use this. It's going to solve your problem. Also, if you make your purchases after viewing this show, the website is on the link in the description menu. You can actually click on the website and stand the chance to win cash prizes up to one thousand five hundred ringgit. So yeah, you know, anti hair fall shampoo with hibiscus and brahmi. Excellent, excellent product. Enjoy it, guys. So let's move forward to the red card show. I'm But certainly one. I'm move... certainly one that's going to have to try that rum with my hair troubles. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think it's going to solve your problem. You have one with you, right? <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. But hey, you know, I've got news for you as well. You know, before we start this episode of Red Card Show, we have the results of our previous Red Card Show. Okay, I'm going to tell you who actually got the red card. Is it me? Is it Hurry? A bit of drum roll, Hurry. Come on. Red card from the last show. Rave. Goes to Hurry. Yes. Finally, finally, finally. I feel like you know I defeated a Liverpool fan. Finally, after I got it the first round. Harry, now it's your turn to get the red card. How you feel about that, man? <laughs> Feeling very red about it, bro. Very, very red about it. <laughs> well, I know how you feel. But yeah, I know but how you feel. But yeah, it was a tricky one, man. Three good teams there. <laughs> I think I shouldn't have got the red card. Clearly, I shouldn't have got the red card. We had the most dominant Liverpool team in the league. Uh, but yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, it's up to the viewers. It's okay. It's okay. Thank you so much, guys, for for giving the red card to Hurry. So, anyways, Hurry, why don't you tell us about today's show? What's it going to be all about? Do give us a shout. All right, guys, the red card show. As you know, it's our ultimate debate show, uh, where essentially we debate on various footballing topics. Uh, so yeah, I mean, we've debated the best Premier League team ever, winning team ever. Uh, now it's time for us to debate the best Champions League final. Ever. Best Champions League final ever. Yeah. All right. So Absolutely. I think I it's... can't wait, man. <laughs> so the 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 I mean the show is going to go on with the same concept as previously. Uh, we're going to have Ram. Uh, I think we pretty much know who he's going for. They haven't really won many Champions Leagues before, so yeah, we know which final he's going for. Uh, so Ram's mm -hmm. going to run through. Uh, he's going to talk for a minute uh, and tell us why which team he selected or which which final he selected number one. And why he thinks that's the best Champions League final ever, um, and then once Ram is done, I will have my go at it. Uh, so Ram, are you ready, my friend? Oh, so you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna start it right away. One minute for me, is that right? Hurry! Absolutely, man. Sixty seconds. One minute on the clock. Give me a second. Okay, get your clock ready. I'm getting mine ready as well. Let's just make sure that we do it within that. You all set, Rambo? I am set, man. Let's do right, this, man. Sixty seconds on the clock, one minute on the clock, and your time starts now. Hey guys, I'm going for none other than the '99 Champions League final because you know, guess what? You know, both teams were going for the treble, and guess who won it? Of course, Man United. Both teams. Okay, we're really going all out for it with 15 shots on target. And who can forget the referee, legendary Pierluigi, Pierluigi Colina. And it was held in the new camp, of course. And guess what, guys? The final two minutes gave two goals from two super subs, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and Terry Sheringham. And of course, we started the game without Paul Scholes and Roy Keane. So I can tell you that you know a coin toss was even done to decide who should wear the home shirt and who should wear the away jersey. I mean, there was so much going on in that final. Amazing location, amazing referee, amazing two teams, and how actually United won was definitely more dramatic than any team ever, ever, ever in history. Do I still have time, Hari? Yeah, time's <laughs> up right now. <laughs> yes. 
Absolutely. That's all I have to say. Amazing stuff. Awesome, awesome, <laughs> awesome. Listen, man, that's some of the biggest bullshit I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to no, win this No, it's not. One, it's brother. actual fact. That's actual fact, man. I'm, I'm all out for vengeance and revenge this time around. So I'm all ready, bro. Okay. So are you ready, bro? I'm all set. Okay, guys. Catch this. Check this out. You know, Hurry's minute. Hurry, your minute starts right now. Guys, I'm going for the ultimate Champions League final. The Champions League final of 2005 held in Istanbul. This was a brilliant final. It was Liverpool, the underdogs, massive underdogs, against the all-star AC Milan team. Dream team. That team had Yapstam, Alessandro Nesta, Paolo Maldini, Cafu in defense with Dida at the back. It had Perlo, Sedorf, Kaka in the middle of the park with Gattuso. And it had Andrei Shevchenko, one of the best strikers in the world with Hernan Crespo. This was an underdog Liverpool team led by Milan Baros in attack. We were 3-0 down at halftime. And for a team, I've never seen a final where a team came back from three goals down against an Italian masterclass team to win that final. Uh, it was an immense final. Uh, Liverpool 3-0 down, came back, won the game in stunning fashion in the second half. And the fans sang, you'll never walk alone at halftime when they were 3-0 down. It had everything. It had penalty drama at the end. None other than the Champions League final of 2005, the Gerrard final. And your time stops now. Wow, hurry. Uh, absolutely right. On spot on, man. <laughs> One minute on a dot. <laughs> well, hurry, uh, you know, I have to say, you know, you do have some valid points over there. I mean, of course, it was good. It was, it was, I uh, no disrespect to Liverpool at all. They ran out deserved winners of the uh, title in 2005. But of course, you know, United as well, uh, you know, they were deserved winners in 1999. And there's a lot I can, I, there's a lot of things I want to share for the viewers, I want to share it to you as well. So who do you think should go first? To go ahead, man. Go <laughs> ahead. Go, go ahead with whatever you got, bro. There's no way you're going to trounce me this round. Okay, so I'm only going to say this, Harry. I mean, obviously, you know, Istanbul was, was amazing. I watched the game as well, even though I was not a Liverpool fan. I was shooting for Milan to win that game. But obviously, you know, to see Liverpool come back in the second half was absolutely uh, something I never expected. So kudos to that. Well done. But I'm going to say this, Harry, you know, in football, okay, as, as you know, it's always a game of two halves, okay? Milan were 3-0 up in the first half, right? United were down 1-0 in the first half, of course. But guess what? You know, you guys had a good team talk, obviously three goals down, you guys had a good team talk, and of course, you know, to really, really bounce back and so on and so forth. United... In that last two minutes, okay, all they had was basically going all out. You know, they had to go all out. They had to risk come something because they know they were going to lose that game. And I felt, I felt when I was 16 years old watching that game, I thought, that's it. You know, we, we, we may not have uh, been able to, uh, you know, achieve the treble. But two corners, okay, resulted in two goals from both substitutes that came on, Sokja and Sheringham. That moment, I'm talking about the moment, Harry. I'm talking about the moment where the we're last not talking about minutes, a moment here, bro. We're talking about a final. Yeah, so we're talking final, about a final, full final. That final, bro. That final. I'm talking about that atmosphere in that final. That that drum drama in the final. I mean, who would have thought in the last two minutes of a Champions League final would have resulted in two goals that would have decided the game? Because Bayern thought, Listen. okay, they would have won it, stuff like that. Listen, I mean, at the end of the day, what you're talking about is a moment. I'll give you that. You had a couple of moments at the end of the game, which, which brought a bit of drama. When you talk about a final as a whole, this final was the ultimate final. I'll tell you why. Precisely why. Go ahead. Go ahead. When United played Bayern Munich that year, as you rightly said in your own words, both teams were going for the treble. Both teams yeah. were strong teams. Both teams had world-class talent all over the pitch. This mm -hmm. final in, in 2005 was a classic David versus Goliath. It was a Milan side that is a dream team on paper. It had Dida, Brazil's number one. It has a back four, which in my opinion was the best back four ever constructed in Europe. It had Yapstam, Alessandro Nesta, Paolo Maldini, Cafu at the back. In midfield, it had Sedorf, Perlo, Gattuso and Kaka, who was number one, were the best player in the world at that time. And at up top, they had the best striker in the world, Shevchenko and Hernan Crespo. Off the bench, they had people like Rui Costa, Serginho, 
uh, coming off the bench as well, and John Dal Thomason as well. That was an all-star team. The Liverpool team was fifth in the league in that year. Mm-hmm. Fifth in the league. Their striker was Milan Baros, who was a journeyman who left the club after that final. We had Harry Kewell start the game, who got injured after 20 minutes. We had Jimmy Traore at the back, playing left back for us. Uh, we had Shabi Alonso. That was his first year at the club. We had Jibril Cisse, who came on to be a hero and score a penalty when he had broken his leg earlier that year and just came back two weeks before, three weeks before the final. Smitz's last game for the club scored a goal, a crucial second goal and the winning penalty in his last game for the football club. It had everything that final. It had really good performance from Milan in the first half. When I say good performance, it had dynamism, craft from Kaka, Shevchenko's threat, strong defensive performance from Milan. In the second half, it had a strong performance from Liverpool, Steven Gerrard and the rest of the team. And more importantly, the other element that was involved in this, in this match was tactical masterclass. Rafa Benitez had to change something at halftime to come back from 3-0 down. He changed the formation. He had to take, he was taking off one defender. He was going to take Steve, uh, sorry, he's going to take Jimmy Traore off. And check this out. Uh, Steve Finnan got injured. So in the, when he was going okay. to take Jimmy Traore off at halftime, he had to change his mind because the physio told him that Steve Finnan wouldn't last the second half. So instead, instead he left Traore on, he took Finnan off, he put Haman on, played with the back three, put Haman on to Marshall Kaka in the second half. So it had a tactical masterclass at halftime as well to change the game in our favor as well. It had the fans in the stadium who were singing, you will never walk alone when we were 3-0 down at halftime. It had everything, Ram. It had a penalty shootout drama oh. as well. It had Jersey Dudek doing... Bruce Grobla on the line in, in, in the penalty <laughs> shootout as well. Look, it had every... Jetsi Dudak, in my opinion, pulled off the best double save in the world till today. I yeah, don't even know how he pulled off. And I'll that was that. in that match that. as well. Yeah, yeah I so, understand. I totally I'll give in you that my because opinion, they the penalties. If you talk about a full final with every ingredient, this is the game. It's not only the best Champions League final, it's the best final ever, period. <laughs> oh, those are big, big statements, Harry. Big, big statements. I, I totally disagree with you on that. I obviously the 99 final was much, much better. It had everything, as you mentioned, as well. You know, except that there was no extra time, there was no penalty. But I okay, can tell do, you this. Do, do, do you accept the fact that the United team that year had world-class mm-hmm. talent all over the pitch? They were going for the treble. They, they won the league as well. well. They they did. Of course, even, even uh, Bayern Munich players, you know, when they came for the reunion, they did say that, you know, United had world-class players. I, of course, they do. Even Bayern had world-class players. Exactly. What I'm trying to say. So, it was a fairly match final. No. In the, yeah, it was a you, fairly match final that had a couple of interesting moments at a drama at, in stoppage time. This was David versus Goliath. And Correct. David... And, and, and the weaker side was 3-0 down against the best Milan side, in my, in my opinion. At that time, the best team in the world. Okay, uh, in, in okay. 3-0 down against Italian team as well, and Italian defense as well. And to pull that off with the team we had, uh, with Milan Barros as a striker, Jimmy Traore in defense ramp. Jimmy Traore up against, what, Cafu? Or, or freaking, how can you even compare that? But we pulled that off, man. But I can off, tell you this. Off can... the bench, we had people like Biscan, man. And, and you know, <laughs> you so, got so, Biscan, okay. <laughs> yeah, so what I'm trying to tell you is but, we, had, but no, Harry, we, had, we Harry, had no hope in that final. But we pulled Harry, it I, off. I, I can tell you this one thing, okay? I mean, every single final, every single one wants to, wants to watch a game, the two giants and have a go at each other. Okay, on paper, on paper, Bayern's team looks much stronger because United did not have Roy Keane, Paul Scholes in that team. You know, so they obviously had, you know, some sort of a makeshift midfield. And obviously, you know, from, from throughout the game, hurry, throughout the entire game, Bayern was constantly attacking, 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 hit the post twice. They could have scored two or three goals, even four goals for that matter. The game would have been done and dusted in the first half itself. But the fact that, you know, United came back in the second half, defending, defending well or not so well, whatever you, whatever you want to say, end of the day, you know, they proved it in the last two minutes where every single United fan, okay, had the slightest of doubt or rather had, you know, 40% of the doubt, you know, that they were going to win. You know, it, it but, was, but, it was but, like but, that. Again, again Ram, you're but, stressing on the fact that it was, a dire, it was a dire final, as you said, where the United mm-hmm. defending and it was a bit dire from, from what you're saying. 
a bit boring and it had a couple of moments at the end which you could say were okay were good fair play to them will power but also lucky uh, but this was a match it was a proper final it was entertaining for it was end to end entertaining from start till the very very end it had a team 3-0 no. down come back it had a team play well in the first half i've got to give milan credit they were outstanding in that first half so there was yep. class in yep. that game from both sides and it takes a lot more than luck to come back from 3-0 down my friend 3-0 down to pull that <laughs> off i also i almost got to say this again there was tactical brilliance in this game from rafa benitez he was hands were tied behind his back harry kewell got injured in the 20th minute he had to replace him with smitzer he then had to change from a four at the back to a five at the back for the for the second half to combat kaka in midfield and to come back from 3-0 down he then pulled off the master stroke of all master strokes in extra time which was ancelotti brought on serginio on the left to trouble smitzer because smitzer couldn't deal with uh, he was not he's more of an attacking player couldn't track back and serginio was causing us a little bit of trouble rafa benitez moved steven gerrard from center midfield to right back just to deal with serginio and that is how we combated him and dealt with serginio again tactical masterclass bro making the best of your team characters as well jamie carragher had cramps in that game pulled himself up kept going jimmy traore cleared off the line it had everything that final had absolutely everything and i think you have got no choice but to admit today and right now <laughs> no. that you're taking the red card home ram no i am not taking the red card home i'm not in fact i really really think 99 final was was the best in history ever you know i really really you, really you, feel you, so you, because you, you've been having too few too many beers my friend <laughs> <laughs> no absolutely not i I'm, i'm not going to concede i'm not going to concede it I, i give it to you for 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 talking about the istanbul final obviously you know six goals this in the game this man as well man this man as well in that final to pull us out from from nothing basically bro play in the center of midfield play at number 10 play at right back score that first goal pump the side up and then a lot of heroes came from that game as well you know last game for the club smitz uh, cse back from what a eight month or seven month layoff with a broken leg scores in the penalty shootout this game was brilliant didi haman didi haman uh, i think he had a broken toe or or he had an injury going into the shootout the penalty shootout and he still took a penalty and scored with an injury on his leg but that i have to i have to say everything okay fine but i can tell you this as well harry you know i i feel this final was 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 really really important for united oh, by the way well, by sense. the way that milan yeah. side that milan side which i said was unbelievable or like a dream team they beat manchester united on the way to the final they beat i think manchester united they beat them 2-0 uh, and i agree on the way to yeah. the final they beat inter milan 5-0 on the way to the final as well yep it was wiping the floor out with everyone okay and okay fine fine but this was a game it was the final where you know it's not just about united fans obviously but it's it's a lot about the team as well because it they were they were going to go and win the champions league after 31 years you know it was massive 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 uh you know history on the line over here you know it's not just about the treble it's not just about winning the premier league or fa cup and then going on to win the champions league but it was 31 years since united won the last uh, champions league before this one so imagine the atmosphere was insane okay 31 years you come into the final and you are on the verge of losing that game because you only have two more minutes to spare the least probably they could have done was equalize and take it to extra time maybe penalties but they defied the odds right there and then and you know what it was amazing surprise it was it was it was that feeling like you know when i watched those 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 clips from the fans who express their emotions after this after this game it was insane again ram i'm going to give them credit okay that's all i can give them credit they you pulled say, off but it's 31 years it after was, 31 it was years two corners a ball coming in one guy you can't even say it's dude, a team effort it two players dude, involved dude two how players many involved. how and, many and also, games have you also, seen and also and also it's like two moments as you said this oh, you're talking about a final this yes, game has i am talking about a final everything about a final <laughs> it's a blockbuster <laughs> final blockbuster okay final okay every minute let's, was let's... entertaining every minute was important it had absolutely dude, everything dude so every there's... final every minute is important man every final this... that you play every every minute is important it's not just about 2005 or 99 every final game is equally important for both teams that are contesting for it but i felt i felt 
why this final is not just because I'm a United fan, but I felt it's only because, because you're a United fan. No, There's nothing I mean, else. I'm not just saying it. I'm not just saying it because as a United fan, I'm saying it also in terms of watching football. I was 16 years old at the time when I saw it. And, and uh, maybe that's why you're like saying it's happened. the best final, bro. You're no, too young no. to assess the final. You're no. too young to assess all, the final at that time. All the finals, all the finals that I've watched, I think this final was was well, the top. Let's of leave it. Final. Let's leave it to the viewers, Ram. But I'm not going to back down on this. This is the best final ever played. It was magic, and not just Champions League. It's the look, best final ever played. Period. Look to all Liverpool, to it all was, Liverpool fans. It was the comeback Liverpool. of all proportions. <laughs> it was a comeback of all, all proportions. It was okay. playing against a team that had no weakness. No weakness at all, and they were three nil up, and and people were expecting us to get beaten six seven nil at halftime, mm-hmm. and, and it had brings back so many mem- memories as well. This game, man, I I remember I had resigned from my first job, I, I I I was serving my notice, and this brought me immense joy, bro. So as far as I'm concerned, the best final ever. What a comeback! It lives long in everyone's memories. Guys, vote for me I'm, and vote for Ram to get the red card here because he doesn't know what he's talking I'm, about. I'm, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying this is the best final. You know, I'm super happy when this happened. I was in school at a time I know, but until today when I think about this final, I get goosebumps. And I'm sure all the fans out there, you know this feeling. This was one of the moments that we will never trade for anything. You know, no final in the Champions League or no final in football in history can ever take this final away. It's always going to be in our minds. So vote for Hurry. You know, he deserves the red card. Liverpool has a lot of other Champions League finals to think about. But we have this one to really keep it very, very close for us. This is this not about is Liverpool. Going to give him the red card. Guys, this is not about <laughs> Liverpool, Man United. This is about football we're talking about. And this was the best final ever for any neutral as well. Forget Liverpool fans, any fan. This was the best final ever. It had all the ingredients of a classic final. It had tacticians, I... <laughs> Ancelotti on that side, Rafa Benitez here. It had a team full of superstars. It had a team led by Captain Fantastic Steven Gerrard. It had a team of characters in Liverpool who decided we are not losing today and making the fans proud, coming back from 3-0 down, taking it to a shootout, winning that shootout as well. So guys, you know where this is going. Guys, <laughs> no, we're, no, we're no. wrapping up the show here. <laughs> what, what for who you think should get the red card? Hurry, Rami, you want hurry, to sign hurry. off, brother? <laughs> All right, guys. It's been an absolute fantastic uh, debate on the red card show once again. You know, with Harry, of course, always a pleasure having a go at you. It was indeed fun. So, guys, signing off from the plot Malaysia. This is the show for the fans. By the fans. Guys, tell us who gets the red card and leave your comments below. Tell us which is the best final ever in the Champions League. Cheers, Cheers, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.